Cinnamon scrolls are gorgeous and when you make them with really beautiful whole ingredients, you get the same sensation, the same texture, and if not, even a better feeling in your body after you eat them. I'm using white spelt flour, I'm using coconut sugar, I'm using beautiful coconut oil, and for my milk, I'm using soy milk. So what I'd love you to do is get into the kitchen and get everything measured just like me. Yeah, and just get really scented because baking is really interesting. Baking requires a set of presents, as cooking does, but baking requires more isms than normal. And as I've gone through this program, I'm really recognising the baker in me. So I'm recognising the baker in you. So let's do this together. So my oven is on and it's quite high. I've got it on 190. So that's actually quite high for baking, which is, which is great because you want it to be, you want the, the action of the heat to get in there. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm using soy milk. You can use any sort of milk you like, rice, oat, a nut milk, a coconut milk. You can even use water if you want to, but I like the fat that's in soy milk. That gives us quite a, you know, kind of rich flavour um, in my opinion. So I'm going to add to this bowl first. I'm going to add the sugar, which is the coconut sugar, and the soy milk, and the coconut oil. So all my wet liquid together, get it in there, and one egg, one little baby egg which is awesome. And that's all going to go into here. Okay, we're just going to give this a bit of a whirl. Now I've got my dough blade on, okay? So this is not, I'm not mixing to make this um, into a light fluffy situation. So the next part of this I'm going to do, so I'm just to mix it up briefly, I'm just going to lower this. I'm going to add my yeast and my flour. Now if I didn't have this amazing mixer, it doesn't matter. You're just going to use, you're just going to use a bowl. So you're just going to put everything in together, just like I've done. Put that in there like that. Get in there mate, get in there. Okay. So what this dough blade is going to do, it's going to do what I would do with my hands. So I'd get that all into a bowl like normal, just into here, and I'd mix it till it was well combined. Then I'd tip it on a floured surface, so just a little bit of flour on here, and then I'd start kneading and kneading and kneading and kneading. And you're going to want to knead for a good eight to ten minutes, okay? And this is when one of these machines come in handy. But don't panic if you don't have one. Get the kids in the kitchen and get them kneading. So I will see you in about eight minutes back in the kitchen with a beautiful round ball of dough. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> and look, it's coming into a really nice dough, as you can see here. Check this out, right? It's all coming together beautifully. Oh, it smells delicious. Just with that coconut sugar in there, it's really quite, it's just delicious and yummy and it's coming together. So like I said, if I didn't have one of these machines, I'd be here on a bit of uh, flour that I'd just dust onto my um, kitchen bench and I'd be kneading. And how you knead, now check out my hand. My grandmother taught me this actually. She used to make the most beautiful whole spelt bread. So you're just gonna push like this and you're gonna roll back and you're gonna push. Then you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna push, roll back. Turn it around, push, roll back. Really easy, really quite cool. But we're going to let this amazing machine that my girlfriend let me use, which is awesome. And I'll see you guys soon. I'm totally smiling at this. This is like next level kneading. Okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? This is like a new tool. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there's nothing on here. This machine is just awesome. Thank you, my dear friend Simone, for lending this to me. All right, I've got a beautiful ball of beautiful, gooey, spelt, delicious dough. Just do this to it, okay? So try and, actually, if you're kneading and you haven't got this machine and it's kind of everywhere, just, just push down and then scoop down like this just to get into a nice ball. And you'll have a look underneath here. I'm kind of just pushing it and it's kind of, coming together, I don't even know what that, that's called. And then what I want to do is I want to grab a little bit of coconut oil and pop it in the bowl because I don't want this to stick around the sides of this. And what we need to do next, oh, look at this. Oh, it's 
it's very happy. It's very happy. I'm very happy. I'm going to put this in a warm place. So my oven's on, remember, your oven's on. And I'm just going to sit this where it's nice and warm. I can feel a little bit of warmth coming from the oven here. Just a little bit of warmth. And this is going to be awesome. How quick was that? To me, that was very quick. And I'm going to let that there and I'm going to let it prove, improve. So what it's going to do, it's going to, the yeast and the sugar and the flour and the air is going to come together and it's going to start to expand and have all these little holes in there. And what's that going to do is going to create air so we get that really light, fluffy dough and we'll roll that out and then we'll smother it in a splattering of currants and cinnamon and roll them up and bake them. So I'll see you guys, I reckon a good 20 minutes of allowing this to double in size and then we'll come back and then we'll roll it out. So I'll see you very, very soon. Come over here and have a look at this. This has been here, I reckon, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And it's looking lovely and plump and it's proved and we're ready to roll it out. So have your surface area ready to do this before you start bringing over there and cleaning up your area. So you want your flour to be there, you want your rolling, to be, rolling pin to be handy and you want to be able to go there and ease and flow. So let's take it over there and we'll start. Which is awesome. Alrighty. So what I want to do, now I've got a, I've got a good flat board here. You might have a tabletop, okay? You might not have a, a big cutting board like this, you know what I mean? You might have a tabletop or you might be doing it on your dining table. It doesn't matter, don't panic. I've done this on the floor before with a big piece of wood. So I've got quite a large um, chopping board here. So what I want to do is just get a little bit of flour. Just a little bit and dust it on. Now see what I'm doing? I'm just dusting it on here and just wiping it off as well. Baking is messy and it's awesome. Now I want to get this out. Now see how this is not sticking at all because of the coconut oil? It just comes out beautifully. Look at that. Oh, it smells like a bakery. <clears throat> okay. I want to roll it to about one centimetre, I reckon. That's about one centimetre thick. Let's see how we go. Now just watch the technique that I'm doing here. I'm not afraid that this is going to break. I've got it in one hand. I'm not freaking out that it's going to fall apart or anything. I'm just ease and flow, okay? This is a, just a bit of wood that I got in a hardware store. You can get these anywhere in a kitchen store too. Now see how I'm not pushing and rolling? I'm just being very careful. Very, very careful. I'm going to turn it over now, this side. And now I want to create a rectangle. <laughs> as much as I can, right? <laughs> and I'm kind of not doing that. So this is what I would do. I'm very intuitive cooking here. I'd get my roller and do this. Now when you're at home, and see how, I want you to really take notice of how I'm not putting my fingers in here, I'm pushing down hard, I'm just being very, very careful about how I'm doing this. Just very gently, very carefully. Kind of getting into a rectangle. <laughs> oh, baking cracks me up. Gets me nervous actually, super nervous. I always say I'm not a baker, but you know, I am right now. We are what we think, right? So I am a baker. <laughs> and it's working. One centimetre one centimetre thick. Come on, I want to go into a rectangle. Come on. These are great. You know those other ones with the handles on them? Not that good. Okay. So I've been rolling this out for a good minute. And I'm nearly there. Okay, perfect. I think it's under a centimetre, but you know, whatever. Okay. Ta-da! This excites me actually, because it's working. So I want to put some isms on here, and I'm thinking currants, coconut sugar. What have I got? I've got coconut sugar, 
I want currants. I don't want sultanas. I think it's too. I'm going to use the same bowl that I used to raise this actually. Um, what do I want here? Oh, I want probably. How much would that fit in there? I think probably we'll start with half a cup, okay? And when you make these again and you want to add more sugar to it, add more sugar to it if you want to. Okay, I'm going to add half a cup of sugar. Do I need to add more? Sometimes I like them super sweet and sometimes I, I don't like them super sweet. So we'll start with half. Now I'm going to need maple syrup. You could use honey if you want to, but I need this to stick and it's not going to stick with just the... Um, the currants and the sugar here. So I need to make it stick. So I've got about a, one cup of currants. Look at these little babies. They're amazing. Okay, a cup of those. I want some nuts, so about a cup of walnuts. Now with the walnuts, I always smell them first. Because I always find spending money on good quality food, sometimes they can be rancid. What I mean by rancid is the fats go old and they have a little bit of stench about them and they're not so good. So be mindful of that. So I want one cup of walnuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab them in my hand and I'm just going to crunch them up as much as I can. Okay, one cup of that. Oh yeah. Get it all mushy. Okay, I'm going to mix that together. Now as you can see, that's just going to fall apart. It's just going to come off here, so I want it to stick. So maple sugar is the best thing to use. Even if you don't have it, use honey. Don't panic. Okay? This is just going to stick this on there. This liquid caramel. Delicious. Delicious stuff is just beautiful. So just with a pastry brush or a clean paintbrush, whatever you have, just paste this on here. This will get things sticking. Now, if the first time you make these and you feel, guys at home, that that's not enough sugar in there, just please go ahead and make more sugar. So I'm just going to push this in. Please go ahead and put more sugar, not make more sugar. But if you do climb a coconut tree and make sugar, let me know. <laughs> yeah, just push it down. And just evenly put stuff here. I'm salivating thinking about it. Okay, now we're going to roll. And this is where this gets serious because sometimes things go everywhere. So just be really mindful. So watch, watch what I'm doing here. I've got my, my thumbs here and my fingers here, okay, as you can see. So I'm just going to pick this up just like this with my thumbs. And just be very calm about it and know this is going to work out. I'm telling myself this. <laughs> and I'm just going to roll. I'm rolling just very gently. I'm not squishing or pushing. And see how I'm not squishing with my fingers? I'm actually using my, my palms. Is that my palms? Just here? That's my palms, right? Okay. Get that gorgeousness to the ends if I can. Now I'm using kind of down to my wrist area. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, now I need it to come back. Okay, come back here. Straighten on that, that crease. And now we're going to cut it up. This is perfect. So you want to have your tray organised and you want some baking paper. So I've just got one of these standard slice trays that I bought from the supermarket, which is kind of cool. And I've got our beautiful non-bleach baking paper. And this one's not in sheets like the last one that I had, which is awesome. So you can buy them in sheets or you can buy them in cut sheets. <laughs> okay. Now, I need this to kind of stick a bit, so I'm just going to put my, my brush of maple syrup just on there, just to stick it down a bit. Okay, cool. So that just holds it down, because it will just slide everywhere otherwise. All right, I'm excited. What do I need to do? Okay, I need to get this out of the way, this out of the way, that out of the way, and I need a knife. And I just want to have a tea towel close by. And remember, we're at home in your kitchen. So just be really super, super, super organised 
and remember to breathe when it comes to baking. I've stressed myself out for such a long time about baking and it's just not necessary. So, all right, I'm thinking. Now, is that about four centimetres, everybody in the studio? Is that four centimetres? Do you think? No, it's a bit more. Is it a bit more? So I can... That's about four centimetres, right? I haven't got a tape measure, but I'm looking for four. That's about... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to put it in front. So it's the same size, as you can see. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Very easy to cut. I do have a sharp knife. Okay, really important. Now, I'm not fiddling and moving things. I'm just putting my knife through very gently. I'm not pushing too hard into the dough. My knife is super sharp. And I'm going to cut them right to the end. All right, two more to go. Actually, one. And I'm done. And you see how when you do, when you put that in front of there, I was cutting it a bit, so just be careful as you're cutting it. Even marking it is even a great idea, as the beautiful Scott just mentioned before. You could do it, but they're all even, and they're going to bake evenly, which is really, really important. So what I want to do now is I want to take them. Now, the seal area, I want to make sure, is facing the next roll. So it's actually, they're both kind of sealing together like this. Yummy. No dairy. It's awesome. Perfectly, perfectly divine. All right, I've got my end bits, which are a little bit, a little bit great. Just shovel those little bits in there. Okay, we're going to let this prove again for another, I reckon, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, something like that. And then what I want to do is after they're proved, I'm going to brush some maple syrup on there and I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon on there and then we're going to bake them. So I'll see you and your scrolls back here in about 10 minutes. These are beautiful. This is my, my movement. <laughs> Check it out. Yours are the same. I know they are. Hello. Ta-da! All I want to do is this little bit of maple that I've had hanging around. I just want to brush him with this, with my very skewiff brush. <laughs> and then they're going to go straight into that hot piping oven, okay, the one that's been on. Remember, preheating, all this warmth in this kitchen's really, God, given this situation of epic, yummy glory, a chance to prove, which is awesome. Okay, straight into the oven. We could put a bit of cinnamon on there if you want to. Just a little bit. Look at that little dusting of cinnamon. I'm so excited. We're going to have a cup of tea, everybody, and a cinnamon scroll. Gun Gun, behind the camera. Yes, he's nodding his head. Straight into the oven. Put your timer on, okay? And I'll see you back here when your house is smelling like a bakery, as ours is, any minute now. So I'll see you soon. I'm very excited about this. The timer just went. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The place is smelling so good and delicious and yummy and sweet. And I can't wait to get these out of the oven. So let's do that now. I have no words. There are no words. That's where really hot. <laughs> That's one word. I want to baste them with more, uh, with more maple. I think that would be awesome to do that. Yum. I just want that sticky kind of scrolly glory happening here. This is it, guys. You're going to allow them to cool. Please don't eat them hot. You're going to burn yourself. Reuben, do not touch the cinnamon scrolls until they cool. Everybody in the back's kind of waiting for this. It's hilarious. 
I just want to really kind of smother these in maple. That little sweet kind of sticky, sticky gooey caramel flavour coming through. I love it. All right, we're going to get, get them to cool. And then I really hope, which I know, that you're going to enjoy these. But let me know how you go. Let me know what fruit you put in here. Because you might have changed it up a bit. Sometimes you don't have currants or, you know, raisins or something. Let me know what you did, what nuts you put in there. If you put any nuts in at all, let's all communicate. I'll see you in the next recipe. These are so goddamn good. Sorry, I had to say that. Look at them. This is my glory. I just want to eat them, show you them. Reuben, no, see? This is what happens. Reuben's going, yes, eat them. They're going to be super hot. What if I pulled this away? Oh my God. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, Mummy, but you have to bring. <laughs> I just. Oh, yeah. Can you get. <laughs> I said see you before, but now I'm back because I just want to. I just want to open one. Be super careful because they're super hot. But check it out. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. They're good. Okay. Bye. <laughs> mm. This is good. Can you believe you've done 30 desserts? Wow. Genius. It's a milestone. High five. Thanks. They're good. Right. That's good, eh? Right. They that taste was a good. In, yeah? The high five was good. The, the, the high hey, five wait, hey, hey! Did you just have a chai tea? Yeah, I'm Jesus, on. Jesus, mate. Take a deep right. breath. Ready? All right, let's clap in with a high five. This is number 30. Action. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, lady. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs>